Hello and welcome to our electronic signature series. We'll talk about DocuSign, PandaDoc and some other services, uh, how you can use them, how you can integrate them into existing web applications, CRMs and uh, your business. Um, so let's get started uh, from this application. Uh, this is basically a CRM and uh, we have quite a few thousands, actually hundreds of thousands of uh, demo accounts. These are not real ones, but you can navigate uh, through profiles, see some data, uh, play with the data, upload uh, files, etc. So um, that's uh, how it works. You can actually filter by location, uh, position, etc. So uh, quite a few features here. And you can search by name, email, or apply full text search uh, for resumes uh, in case you look for some particular keywords in a resume. Uh, but in this case, we will uh, try to find a particular person, Maria Parker. So she's at the top of the list when we uh, search for her name and um, here is her profile so it looks populated and we can check her resume probably download it to your computer uh, it should be just a pdf file or well some other type of file but and you can actually even check the text in her resume and probably copy some part of it into a document and uh, you can create uh, comments or leave follow-up uh, messages and uh, if she requires reset her password but um, the main purpose of this video is the DocuSign tab where you can see all the documents she has signed and uh, even check uh, these documents so you see the ring buttons when the document has been downloaded from the DocuSign. We'll create uh, another contract for 2021 and click save and uh, uh, this contract is actually uh, a bundle of documents so it's not a simple document but uh, three documents in this case um, and you can actually send them one by one uh, in case you need it or you can send them uh, all at once just click this button and you see all of them were sent to Maria in our case she's an employee and um, we can see her profile from HR perspective it might be your client um, or some other partner uh, but it, in this case uh, she's an employee so uh, let's switch to a different browser so you can see the difference uh, from uh, our staff or company representative perspective and from the other side uh, in this case it would be employee or a client well depends on your situation so um, she would get an email uh, with notification saying that she needs to sign the documents and uh, when she logins uh, she would see uh, the list of documents well, some of them are already complete, so she doesn't really need to do anything here. But some of them still need to be signed. Uh, a few more words about the interface. Uh, she has this application form submitted. So your application has been submitted, and um, she can change her password to probably log out some other options needed for the application. Uh, but the main focus today we have on this documents to sign tab. And uh, again, you can see photo studio contract. 2021 and three documents we have just sent so let's start assigning one of the documents we will start from contract so she just clicks review and sign button uh, it might take a while for DocuSign to respond usually it happens pretty fast uh, so here is the document and she clicks um, continue and uh, she can actually start signing so she reviews the document and um, when she's done she would just click sign button and uh, if that's it she would finish there might be much more field we'll see in the next document so right now document has the spending status which basically means um, our staff still needs to check the document and sign it from the company side in this case it would be a chart and um, in the meanwhile uh, she can sign the rest of the documents so let's go to the second one So uh, now we load uh, DocuSign. Um, and this is a demo document, so we have a note here. Uh, it's not a legal one, but just some date. And um, some fields like drop downs, etc. We all uh, know all these fields from DocuSign. And uh, here, well, just one year and when done she clicks sign let's hope we populated all the fields yes so 
Uh, again, we have this pending status, and um, she can uh, sign the last document or leave it for some other day, which we'll do right now, so we won't sign it right away. So it might take a few days to sign um, a long list of documents. And uh, instead, we will switch to um, our staff perspective. Um, so HR would navigate to his application, and we have um, this uh, HR documents tab. Um, and uh, there are quite a few tabs, like pending documents, completed documents, etc. Uh, so in the pending documents, we see that Maria has signed uh, her part, and we uh, still need to sign our um, part of the documents. And um, that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll just check that everything she had to provide is uh, actually in the document. And, uh, well, it was populated nicely. And uh, we click Sign button and Finish. And uh, that should be it. Uh, so we click the next uh, document. And same happens here. Um, OK, we check that the fields are correct. And uh, uh, we don't get anything unexpected. And if it's OK, so the date, well, everything seems to be nice. And then we click the Sign button. And when it's done, we click Finish. So, well, all the documents uh, have been signed, and we can actually see them in the completed tab. So, you see these two documents uh, moved uh, from pending to complete. And um, we click on a document to open profile of the person. So, uh, these documents are completed, and it will take a few more minutes to download them and to get these nice looking ring buttons. Uh, but um, finally, if you click on this ring button, you will see a document like this uh, with all the signatures. And uh, well, you can download or print this document. And there is one more button, uh, which is uh, a certificate for the document. And this certificate is provided by DocuSign. So again, you can uh, open this file and print it or save it to your hard drive if needed. Same for the other document. And that's uh, how it looks. And here is the certificate. Um, so in this video, we talked about uh, DocuSign Talk, DocuSign Workflow. In the next video, we uh, would show you the same application, but it would have uh, a Pandadoc uh, tab uh, with Pandadoc integration. And you would see that um, it's basically the same. So nothing has changed except uh, you would open uh, Pandadoc and uh, well, uh, sign documents on Pandadoc. Uh, website uh, and it would be built in into uh, your web application or your CRM. Uh, but the rest of the interface, uh, the buttons, uh, the terminology and the workflow would be the same. That's uh, it for the video. Thank you for watching.